Imagine a simple beam supported at both ends. When you push or displace it from its equilibrium position and then release it, the beam undergoes periodic oscillations. The natural frequency is the rate at which these oscillations occur without any additional influence. It depends on the beam's physical characteristics such as length, material properties and how it is supported. Engineers and researchers study these natural frequencies to understand and predict the dynamic behavior of structures, ensuring they don't resonate with external forces like wind or machinery, which could lead to structural issues and failure. In today's lecture, I will talk about natural frequency of a simply supported beam and I will consider two cases, one with simply supported beam with the central mass and other simply supported beam with off center mass. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London University. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. This is the data. Young's modulus 200 gigapascal density 7850 kg per meter cube Poisson's ratio 0 0.3 I'm going to use this time solid section 0 0.1377 meter by 0 0.1377 EI is 6 into 10 raised 6 weight is given and I will convert this weight into mass which is 20 kN I need to find angular frequency omega frequency f and time period in seconds. These are the units which I will use to model this problem. Make sure you are consistent with units. Ever since I learned about these nine steps, my life became easier. So I will exactly follow these nine steps to model the problem. First step is part where we will create geometry. Let's get started with Abacus standard. First, create a part, name it as beam. This can be modeled in 2D or 3D, but I'm going to model 3D space, deformable and wire. In fact, it can be modeled in solid or wire. The maximum dimension is four. So I'm going to say approximate size is 10. Click OK. And here I will start from here and and at this point, and then I will dimension it as four. Once I've dimensioned it, then the part is ready. Here, I will partition the part as well so that later when I change the position of the mass, it becomes easier for me to locate the position. For creating a central partition where I'm going to apply the loading, click here, partition edge, and I'm going to choose this partition edge, enter parameter. So click on the line and parameter is 0.5 initially for central mass. And when I'm going to use off center mass, then it's going to be 0.25. To so create partition, partition has been created. Second step is property module where we will define materials and assign cross sections. Next, I will go to property. Here, I will define material and assign sections steel, mechanical, elastic, 200E9, 0 0.3. And I'm going to define the density as well. Density here is 7850. But because I don't want the model to incorporate the density of the beam, it is taken care by stiffness. Because I'm using lump mass approach, in lump mass approach, we do not count the density of all the material. It's just one lump mass. So I'm going to reduce the actual density by E raised minus 4 so that the density of other members is not counted. Click OK. Then I will define the section, beam section, poison ratio 0 0.3, profile is rectangular profile, and the dimensions are 0 0.1377, 0 0.1377. Click OK. The profile has been defined. Then I will assign this section to the part. So go to beam, click on section assignment, choose the section, click done assign the profile and then I will assign the beams section orientation click on beam section orientation choose the beam and this will basically tell you where is the longitudinal axis of the beam click OK and click OK the beam section orientation has been assigned next is assembly here I will click on this create instance and instance has been created Fourth step is step module where we define all analysis steps and parameters. After assembly, I have a step. In a step, I will click here to create a new step. 
and this is my frequency step i will say frac and procedure is linear perturbation and frequency and click continue i would like five eigenvalues and i'm using the length source method so click five and i will keep everything as default fifth is interaction module where we define contact interactions and constraints the next step is interaction in interaction i will define the point mass so go to special go to inertia go to create here type in mass and point mass click ok and i will put mass over here because i created a partition over here wherever i like i can move this mass and this will really help me in understanding the behavior of the model click here and then mass is mass we need to work out so let's go to the problem here the section that i have chosen here is this one point one three seven seven weight is given which is 20 kilonewton weight is equal to mg where g is acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square from here i can find value of m and m is equal to w which is force in kilonewton 20 times uh, 10 raised 3 divided by 9.81 i'm getting 2038.7 kgs i'm going to enter this mass in my model 2038.7 click ok this mass has been assigned sixth is load module where we define boundary conditions and loading and then i will go to load here i will define the boundary conditions go to boundary conditions first is pin and displacement rotation click continue click on this point and translations are fixed in all directions and then i will define a roller boundary condition click ok right side is roller click done and here the model can move in horizontal direction so i will move translation from other directions click ok seventh is mesh module where we define mesh size and element type then i'll go to mesh and here first i will click here to define the element type and i will like to mesh at part level so click on part I click here to assign element type and i'm going to mesh the model with quadratic elements click ok and then I'm going to see the part. I will choose 0 0.2, click OK, and then simply click here to match the part. OK to match the part? Yes. Eighth is job module, which we use to run and monitor analysis. And then I will go to job, and here I will define a new job, frac, continue, and click OK. And then I will save the model and I, I will set up the working directory. Setting up working directory is absolutely important because it will really help you to understand different files. Abacus is going to generate a lot of files and it is very important to set up the working directory. Set working directory and then I will save the model as well. Now I will submit the model and then monitor. The model is submitted. And finally, ninth is visualization module used for viewing results. Then go to data file. The data file will really give you very important information. Firstly, it will tell you the entire mass. So let us see if we have entire mass as 2038.7. So 2038.7, we have this mass. Because we reduce the density, that's why the mass is exactly the same as we entered otherwise it will take into account different sections in the model the first is rigid body motion first mode the second mode we have 7.46 is our frequency in hertz and 46.8 is our angular frequency let us see how these frequencies obtained from abacus compare with analytical solution and for this i have to solve it analytically angular or circular frequency is equal to under root k over m because we have a central point load stiffness of the beam is given by 48 ei over l cube where ei is given to us 48 comes from the formula length is 4 if i put all these values i get 4.5 into 10 raised 6 newton per meter once i have a stiffness then i will put it into this formula to work out angular frequency so put a stiffness here and then mass was 2038.7 
I'm getting 46.98, which is exactly the same as I obtained from Abacus. From Abacus, I obtained 46.86. Here I'm getting 46.98. So there isn't much difference. The frequency in Hertz is 7.48. From Abacus, we got 7.46. So a close match in frequency as well. And then time period is equal to 1 over F and we get 0 0.134. So the results from Abacus match closely with analytical solution. Let us see when we change the position of mass, what is angular frequency and what is natural frequency of the model. When we change the position of the mass, the load is now going to be off-center. When we have off-center point load, in analytical solution, the stiffness is going to be different. So stiffness will not be 48 EI over L cube. It will be 3 EI L over A square B square. Value of A is 1, value of B is 3. If we put these values, EI is given, L is 4, then we get 8 into 10 raised 6. Now, if we put this value in angular frequency, we will get value of angular frequency as 62.64. And in the same way, this is the formula for frequency in hertz. We divide the value of angular frequency by 2 pi, we get 9.97. Let us see if we get the same values when we use abacus. Go to abacus. The only thing I need to do here is that I will go to the beam part and here I have this partition and in partition instead of parameter 0.5 I will enter 0.25 what it will do it will simply bring this partition point closer to the left point so 25 percent of the length so 25 of 4 is 1 so that's how I will do it click so the point has moved and if you want to check if mass has moved or not then go to assembly go to engineering features and go to inertia and click on mass now here if i click here you can see that mass has moved as well now i have moved the partition it will disturb the mesh so i will have to rematch the model so click on mesh and simply i will click on mesh here click on mesh part and then it will match the part and then I will submit the job so the job is completed right click and monitor it's not monitoring so sometimes it happens in the software when this happens it, that's where this working directory it comes into place if you set up a working directory it will save all the files in that directory and the file that you need to have a look is .dat file so here I will have a look at .dat file this is the data file double click on that and you have to open it in notepad the first thing i want to have a look is mass mass is 2038.7 which is fine the frequency is 62.45 angular and 9.93 which is very similar to what we got from the analytical solution so from analytical solution 62.64 and 9.93 a very close match with the analytical solution. This means that Abacus can model these frequencies really very well. The thing to note here in analytical solution is that for every model, you're going to have a different stiffness. For example, if you do not have a standard case where you can find the stiffness formula, then what you can do simply apply a unit load in any software or, or in Abacus to find out the deflection and force is equal to k times uh, deflection from there you can find k as force over deflection so that's how we can find out stiffness if we don't have a standard case the link to all these lecture slides is available at tinyurl.com slash jquereshi abacus and you can download all modeling files from here as well